गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल माई सिर्फ डॉक्टर शोभा वर्किंग एज असोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग टूडे वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द रेगुलर ग्रामर सो नाउ हैविंग सीन द टॉपिक्स रिलिवेंट टू डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन द कन्वर्जन ऑफ एन डी एफ एस एम टू डी एफ एस एम मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ डी एफ एस एम वी विल मूव फर्दर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वॉट इज रेगुलर ग्रामर इन ऑर्डर टू नो वॉट इज रेगुलर ग्रामर इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस टू नो वॉट इज रेगुलर लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट एनी मशीन और एनी फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन विच इज़ बीन रिकग्नाइज बाई अ लैंग्वेज दैट पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज इज कॉल्ड एज रेगुलर लैंग्वेज इन अदर वर्ड्स फॉर एनी गिवन रेगुलर लैंग्वेज वी कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट और वी कैन डिजाइन और डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन नाउ सिंस वी हैव अ प्रोविजन ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन टू डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन वी कैन सी दैट द लैंग्वेज विच रिकग्नाइज नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन एंड डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेंस स्टेट मशीन आर कॉल्ड एज रेगुलर लैंग्वेज सो रेगुलर लैंग्वेज जनरली दे फॉल इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ टाइप टू टाइप टू लैंग्वेज सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज टाइप टू सो रेगुलर लैंग्वेज सो इन जस्ट द वे हाउ यू नो वी इन ऑर्डर टू रेकग्नाइज द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वी हैव द ग्रामर समथिंग सिमिलर इन दीज लाइन्स वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज ग्रामर फॉर द मैथमेटिकल मॉडल्स एज वेल so today we will see what is a regular grammar so definitely uh, the regular language uh, which is defined can be written in terms of regular grammar so we will see what a regular grammar is so regular grammar g is defined mathematically which comprises of four entities so those four entities are capital v which is uh, either called as the rule alphabet and it contains both non terminals and terminals so terminals generally uh, the representation will be lower case letters and the non terminals will be represented in upper case letters moving to the next uh, entity in the regular grammar we have sigma so sigma is the input alphabet input alphabet which comprises of some symbols or terminals it could be either 0, 1 or a, b so generally when we say sigma it is enclosed within flower brackets so it could be a comma b or 0 comma 1 so depending upon the definition of the regular language the sigma varies so that is input symbol so next entity in the definition of the regular grammar is capital r so capital r is set of rules which define the grammar to give an example or to state an analogy here in order to frame sentences in english language we frame words first and foremost we form words making use of alphabets uh, and the alphabets are 26 alphabets so which uh, ranges from a to z so the words are formed using these alphabets and in turn the words are uh, associated or you know uh, collectively put together in such a way that a grammatically meaningful sentence is emerged as the outcome so on the, on this similar concept we have certain rules or productions in the grammar and uh, these are the set of rules which are used to define the language so uh, how we have the concept of noun a uh, pronoun verb adverb adjective and uh, also how we need to use all these particular uh, grammatical uh, concepts in in order to form a valid meaningful sentence in english language similar lines we have something called as set of rules to define the regular language in order to design any mathematical model so r is the set of rules and uh, it's a finite set of rules of the form and uh, the notation used for the set of rules is generally uh, x tends to y so uh, we will see uh, what is x and uh, what is y so i think the gr- uh, basic definition of regular grammar it comprises of four uh, entities quadruple whereas the deterministic finite state machine and the non deterministic finite state machine they have five entities quintuple 
So, V is a rule alphabet which contains both non-terminals and terminals. The sigma is the uh, input symbols that is set of terminals and definitely it is a subset of V. So, uh, I can say sigma is a subset of capital V. And R as we mentioned the set of rules is a finite set of rules in the form of x tends to y. So, S is the start symbol of the grammar. So, when I say uh, we need to have the starting point or the reference point from which particular uh, you know um, point or from which particular production present in the grammar, I have to start reading the grammar. So, capital S indicates the start function of the or start uh, variable of the grammar. So, generally in a regular grammar all rules in the R which comprises of uh, you know the production in the form x tends to y. They need to follow certain constraints and conventions. So, uh, there are uh, listed here. So, in a regular grammar, all rules in R must have a left hand side that is a no single non terminal. So, when I say left hand side, since we have all the productions of the form x tends to y, this is my LHS and this is my RHS. So, single non-terminal should be present on the left hand side. So, that is very important. So, what is non-terminal? Any alphabet symbol which is used in capital V that is set V uh, written in uppercase written in uppercase will be termed as non-terminal and it should have a right hand side okay, of the production. And uh, with respect to RHS, uh, we have uh, more possible combinations or more, more possibilities uh, we can have what can appear uh, towards the RHS of the production. So, we can have epsilon. So, epsilon in the sense which, uh, which reads nothing or which accepts nothing. So, it is generally uh, denoted with epsilon. So, it means that the string will be or the uh, production uh, where we say that S tends to epsilon. For example, if I have a production something like this, S tends to epsilon, this means that the grammar accepts nothing. So, we do not need any specific input symbol which is denoted by sigma. So, this one production itself is sufficient to indicate that the grammar accepts nothing. So, this we had uh, taken care uh, with respect to deterministic finite state machine when we make the start state itself as the final state. So, whenever we are designing a DFSM or NDFSM, the uh, main objective of making the start state as the final state is without reading any of the input symbol or without reading any string still the uh, state is in final state. So, the same concept is depicted with respect to S tends to epsilon. So, next is it can either be epsilon or a single terminal. Okay. So, on the RHS we can have a single terminal and now we are familiar with respect to what is a terminal. So, terminals are uh, given or depicted in terms of sigma. It can be either a comma b or 0 comma 1 comma 2. So, generally it will be numerics or alphabets and alphabets in lower case just to differentiate between the non-terminals and terminals. And finally, we have one more uh, you know convention attached to uh, what can be present in the RHS. So, a single non-terminal sorry a single terminal followed by a single non-terminal. So, you can see here there are few possible uh, you know productions or the productions are written here which are acceptable which are acceptable. So, you can see here S tends to A. So, if I consider this as one of the production or one of the rule in the regular grammar on the LHS I have a non-terminal which is identified by capital S tends to A. So, A here is terminal. So, A is terminal and S is a non-terminal. Since it is in line with the convention of the regular grammar uh, depending upon the definitions of LHS and RHS, this is a valid production. Similarly, when we look at S tends to epsilon, yes, uh, towards the LHS we have a non-terminal that is S and uh, towards the RHS we have epsilon, 
okay so uh, this is also a valid production moving next we have one more production here which falls under the category of a valid or legal uh, set of rules uh, which are defined for the regular grammar so capital t followed by as so here there are two non terminals which are those two non terminals are capital t and capital s both are non terminals whereas we have only one single terminal that is a so you can see that on the lhs we have one non terminal that is capital t followed by a production which is having a combination of terminal and non terminal so here the terminal is a and a non terminal is capital s and this sequence should be followed it's very important if it is interchanged also that particular rule will not be part of the regular grammar hence the grammar cannot be called as regular grammar so next we will see some more examples to get an idea with respect to how the productions need to be defined so here these are some of uh, the uh, not legitimate ones the production so s tends tending to a s a so you can see here on the rhs uh, a terminal is followed by a non terminal that is capital s and then again followed by a terminal a which is not allowed so only uh, instead of this if at all we had a production something like this then it is valid so s tends to a s a is invalid and one more example a s a followed by uh, tends to t so now we are very much sure that on the lhs we need to have exactly one non terminal okay but here you can see here in the example uh, we have uh, in the lhs a s a that is combination of terminal and non terminal which leads to uh, exactly one terminal so here in this case the rhs is not valid in this case the lhs is not valid so after seeing the definition of the regular grammar we will just take up one simple example for the regular grammar so now in the beginning i was just correlating the uh, the relation between the regular language designing the finite state machine and the regular grammar there is a one to one correspondence between all the three entities that is regular language finite state machine and regular grammar so we can see here for a given language which is defined as l is a language which comprises of strings so strings are defined by w w is nothing but a set of strings strings which belong to a comma b star so this we are also familiar it is called clean closure clean closure so which means zero or more occurrence of the input symbol so set of strings which belong to a comma b star and this when i say a comma b this signifies the sigma okay such that the length of the string length of the string is even so here irrespective of the occurrence of a and b what is more interesting or what the constraint is is the length of the string should be even so the possible strings which uh, which is accepted by the language so few possible strings which is accepted by the language is l is equal to epsilon so since epsilon means nothing so the length of the string is zero so it should be accepted next we can have uh, any combination of a string okay whose length is exactly 2 now since we don't don't have any specific condition or constraint attached with respect to occurrence of a and b we can take a uh, length of the string when it is 2 in any combination so all four possible combinations also can be appearing so it can be a a a b b a and b b and it continues so this sequence you can have any number of times so i will write l dash so l dash here indicates set of those strings which do not accept or which do not belong to the language so single a should not be accepted by the language because when i take single a the length of the string is 1 and it is odd so it should not be accepted more obvious similarly a single b also should not be accepted 
similarly any string whose length is odd okay those are the strings which should not be accepted by the language so in order to take care of the acceptance of the string and the rejection of the string in terms of mathematical model that is finite state machine we used to take the aid or the help of the states so any state which is having two concentric circle is called as final state and any state with only one single circle it is called as intermediate state so by the end of the input string when the input string is processed completely and we reach the end of the input string and the machine is halted in any one of the final state then generally we say that that particular string is accepted or it belongs to the language vice versa or the other scenario once we reach the end of the input string when the complete input string is processed and the machine retains or machine halts in any one of the non final state then we say that that particular string does not belong to language so these basic uh, concepts we are already familiar with respect to module 1 and now uh, since we are looking with respect to module 2 it becomes essential for us to devise for a given regular language what is its equivalent regular expression and what is its equivalent finite state machine so when uh, this is the regular expression uh, what is being given here so all the four different possible combinations of uh, string whose length is even that is two is taken into consideration here so a a union with ab union with ba or bb so any one possible combination of these okay occurring zero or more times so that is taken care by the star that is clean star or clean closure so this is the regular expression for the given regular language so now uh, you can see here uh, for the given regular language this is the finite state machine so we have the start state so this indicates that this is the point from where we have to start reading the machine or the mathematical model so this is the start state so uh, just to ensure that the machine reads nothing or it accepts nothing that is a string of length 0 we generally follow the convention of making the start state as the final state so s is uh, having two concentric circles which means this is a final state and next we have a transition defined from state s to state t over the input symbol a comma b so when the machine is in state s on receiving input symbol a which is again part of sigma there is a transition from state s to state t similarly when the machine is in state s on receiving input symbol b there is a transition from s to t and finally here Uh, for the state new state t also the transition is to been defined so the machine is in state t on receiving input symbol a it goes back to start state so this is the finite state machine to accept the given language so having uh, seen the part, the concept of regular language regular expression and the finite state machine now we will uh, see how we can write a regular grammar for the example which is which we have considered so you can see here the language is there is present the regular expression is present so this is regular expression this is regular language and this is the finite state machine fsm and this is the regular grammar defined for the regular language so given a regular language we can derive or we can obtain its equivalent regular expression given a regular expression we can write what is the regular language given a regular expression we can design a finite state machine given a finite state machine we can derive the regular expression as well as the regular language so when we have this one to one correspondence or relation between each of these then we should also be in a situation for a given regular grammar we can design a finite state machine as well as we can write or express its equivalent regular expression so coming to this particular point regular grammar 
so uh, this is a regular grammar why because first and foremost uh, it has the four entities so i'll just write regular grammar is equal to so capital v sigma r and s okay so capital v if i have to list out all the entities okay present in capital g then v is what as per the definition it is set of terminals and non terminals so here terminals are only a and b lower case a and b and as well as epsilon also and next the non terminals are capital s and capital t now since it is not mandatory or it is not explicit for us to mention this particular epsilon okay it is very clear that the moment we have s tends to epsilon it means that the machine or the grammar or the language accepts nothing so definitely the clean star or the clean closure presence is very very important and it becomes mandate there so this is capital a set of terminals and non terminals so sigma is equal to a comma b so capital r all these rules they fall under the category of rules so we we'll let us have a look at the rules for the regular grammar so s tends to epsilon since we are having the start state or the initial state itself as the final state we can define this particular production s tends to epsilon just the way we used to define the transition function that is delta for the finite state machine in a similar manner we can convert the transition function into its equivalent production defined in the regular grammar so h tends s tends to epsilon is done next is s tends to at so now this indicates from the start state s on receiving input symbol a it makes a transition to state what capital t so that entire scenario can be expressed in the form of a production defined in the grammar and its equivalent production will be s tends to at and this particular production is in line with the convention defined for the regular grammar so lhs comprises of one non terminal that is capital s and the rhs comprises of so terminal followed by so this is the rule so this is the rule r so on a we have defined similarly for when the machine is in start state s on receiving input symbol b we make a tra transition to state t so the same uh, concept or the same transition is defined uh, with respect to its equivalent production so s tends to bt and uh, finally we have uh, when we have to replace or when we have to you know substitute the non terminals we can define these two uh, you know productions that is capital t tends to as because we have a transition defined back to capital s okay